In this video, we're going to talk about using rulers and guides. First, you want to go to View, check off your ruler. Once you do that, right click on it and make sure that you've chosen pixels. Next thing we're going to do is insert a rectangular shape. I'm going to click just right in the center of the screen. And I'm going to tell it I want this to be about 960 pixels. Hit OK. It's not centered, however. I'm going to grab my Move tool, hit Control A to select everything on the page. Up here is where I can center it vertically on my screen, and I can align it centered horizontally. I'm now going to use my guides to do those. I had to do a full screen so I could see them. They're over here on the edge. Then you just drag over, and I can drop it right there on the edge. Do the same thing again over to the edge of this shape. And now I don't have to do any math or guesswork. 960 pixels is perfectly centered, and I've got guides there to help. I can now go ahead and get rid of this shape because I don't need it, so I'll drag it down to the trash can. And I'm going to grab a guide up here at the top, and I'm going to drag it down until it is at about 100 pixels. So I need to move up further so I can get that at 100 pixels. And that is where my header is going to be on this page. I'm now going to grab another guide and drag it down until I get to about 1700 pixels setting up an area for my footer. If you want to make an area for a margin you can just grab another guide, drag it out. I'm going to try to do it at exactly 135 right here and I've got about a 15 pixel margin. If you want extra help you can also turn on the grids that's under view, show, and then grid and that'll help you uh, find areas too that you'd like to snap the edges too.